so mic etiquette is really more than anything else just being respectful of the space and the microphone and uh, over time you learn how to use it I'm going to show you a couple things here that uh, are pretty common uh, a few of the things that I wish people had told me so some of it's pretty common sense so uh, pardon me if I'm uh, making it like super super easy I recognize what I'm doing so uh, let's go right ahead all right uh, we have right here the microphone so if you're looking at the microphone itself that is the top of the microphone and some microphones have an on and off switch sometimes if you can't hear make sure it is turned to on down there is where the cord meets the microphone and that little clip clips in to keep it into place so just if it's not working make sure that it's snug and fit in there make sure that you're a, a good amount away from the microphone you should be able to hear what's going on through the speaker itself to see if you need to be closer or further away right and you can move the mic stand up or down but you want the mic to be out of the way of your face so that the audience can see any gestures that you're making or if you take the mic out of your hand and you also want to hold the mic so that you're not covering up the top the top is what captures the noise you're not a beatboxer hold the microphone around the solid base of the mic you know from there down to there it's weird that you can see my lips moving it doesn't sink I understand I'm voicing over but again that piece is so critical because there's so many cheap, cheap microphones and cheap cords like the one that I'm holding that you have to make sure that it's connected now I'm not telling you to plug it and plug it back in but if you're ever using a microphone make sure it's snug in also don't play with the cable the cable loosens the connection hold the microphone like so right and then when you're done put it back the way that you found it easy enough right then you can move the stand up or down however you need to it's you're more than happy to do that but again you just want to make sure that your face is being seen if that makes sense at all to you so you can adjust it as you go around and over time you're going to figure out what works best for you if you want to keep it in the mic stand or if you want to pull it out whatever the case is it's completely up to you just make sure you need to make sure that you look comfortable on the stage I like to have my hands free at times when I'm doing characters or things like this. So just always keep that in mind. Now, put your foot on the mic stand when you're adjusting it. So when you're adjusting the stand and there's a little knob there so that you can twist it to tighten it and loosen it, right? Take your time. Twist it. Loosen it. Tighten it. Righty tighty. Lefty loosey. Keep your foot on the base. That way you don't pick up the entire mic stand when you are making adjustments. Sometimes you can move it without having your feet on the stand, but most of the time I like to have my foot on the stand and usually I don't twist the um, the stand at all. I just move the piece up and down kind of with just a little bit of force there. Take the mic and if you're ever taking the mic out of the stand, take the stand out of the way so you have all the room in the world to work. Then you can put the stand back when you are done. Remember, leave the set just as you found it so critical now this is the right way that you should come out to uh, an audience full of energy you're putting the mic stand in the back and out of the way I'm not moving too much I've got a little bit of a smile on my face if you're gonna walk around do it deliberately so this is me maybe doing a little bit of crowd work watch me plant my feet I'm about to make a huge point here I'm not I'm not actually saying anything but my movement is deliberate. And a lot of times, if you watch yourself on film, you won't be moving deliberately. Every move that I made when I shot this was to make an example for you guys. So these are some of the things that you can do. And of course, put the mic back in the stand as you found it, all right? And I always say a nice goodbye and a wave and take care. You've been very respectful. Okay. Here's what you may look like in the beginning. Unsure of how things work, uh, not sure where to touch the stand, maybe you're being too respectful, you, the mic doesn't seem natural, you're sticking it in your mouth, you're kind of wandering around, you don't know what to do with your right hand. Um, now the cable gets in the way, and because you're so nervous, it gets wrapped around the mic stand. 
And so people are paying no attention to your set and they're paying all kinds of attention to how distracting you are. I mean, oh my God, look at me. I'm holding the, the cable like an idiot at this point. And look at that look on my face. I'm so lost at what I'm doing. All I can see is that cable in my hands at this point. So why the heck wouldn't I put that mic in the stand to begin with? And why is my back to the audience? Is the cord wrapped around my body at this point? It doesn't even make sense. Treating the cord that way will eventually ruin the cord and you are going to lose your relationship with the, um, with the venue. Well, here's the other thing. Please make sure that the mic is the right height. Everyone that does a show is shorter than me, so I tend to set the mic, they set the mic lower. Now, this is may be what it is for you if you're shorter than everybody. Just take your time, set the microphone, and don't play with the mic stand. It looks creepy, especially if you're a dude, right? Here's some other horrible things. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's an expensive microphone. It's terrible for it. It's not a prop. Don't play with the stage. Look, the, the stage, it's, the, the, our particular stage was running the Nutcracker when I filmed this. And why, why is he, why are you doing that? And th this is inappropriate. D the stuff is not your, th that mic stand is not yours, sir. That is not yours. You're not allowed to. Why are you humping the microphone? Okay. So you get a little nervous and you get a case of the sways. Yeah, this is a, a function of fight or flight. What this means is you're trying to stay in the balls of your feet. You're so afraid of the audience, you actually think they're going to come out and kill you. That's the real feeling that's inside of your head. You're swaying back and forth so that you can run at any given moment. And it looks like it too. If you were telling jokes right now, nobody would be listening. But I promise you, you will be doing these types of things when you get up on stage. So, guys, walk up. Take your time. Get the mic to the right height. Maybe if you want to take the mic out of the mic stand, you can do that. Otherwise, look how free my hands are as I stand there, tell a few jokes, stand there firm with my feet planted. I've got my hands available to me to say hi, to look happy, and to just tell my jokes. Be comfortable. Take your time. The stage is yours.